much, Madam Speaker. Uh, my question is to the Minister of Health and Long-Term Care. And, and Madam Speaker, the, the issue with Mr. Ronald and Hamilton isn't a one-off. Uh, two weeks ago, I dealt with a Mr. Claire Seeley from London, who was stuck in the Dominican Republic, bleeding internally. The country had run out of blood, yet he wasn't allowed to return to Ontario for treatment. He was stuck because of a catchment issue. It took my office two days of intervening to find a bed space for this man. But it was, it was in fact, this government's policy at restricting patients to their catchment area of Ontario that restricted him to receiving the care in this province. Shame. It was government policy that was interfering with this man returning home, Mr. S Madam Speaker. And in fact, that this patients had to call their MPP or the ministry to actually get health care is wrong in this province. We have a health care system that should be responsive to the people where they live and not have to defend or go to the fact to the politicians. Madam Speaker, I ask the minister this. He has risked the lives through his policy of Ontarians who have to seek emergency medical treatment return to Ontario. Does he think the Ministry of Health has the correct policy in place today? Well, thank you, Madam Speaker, and thank you to the member opposite for giving me the opportunity to explain what the policy is. Uh, Madam Speaker, uh, there is uh, no uh, restriction uh, with regards to any Ontarian here or abroad, if they're a resident of this province, if they have uh, health insurance, uh, Madam Speaker, there's absolutely no restriction to any access to health services anywhere in the province. And to do otherwise is illegal. So the policy is very, very clear. But, but, Madam Speaker, it is important that when a patient is out of country, first of all, it's critically important that they have travel insurance. Yeah. But when an emergency does take place, what is required of the insurance company is they contact a doctor here in this province, and that doctor then works to provide the plan of care for that specific patient. It's critically important. And often, Mr. Madam Speaker, and I can say with experience that that connection either isn't made or it's not strong enough, and it's critically important that that insurer take on the responsibility that they have and the local doctor as well harness the resources to provide that, that care. I return back to the member Thank you, Madam Minister Speaker. Uh, perhaps the uh, minister needs to look at his policies of the Ministry of Health, and in fact, they are limited to catchment areas. Uh, Madam Speaker, you look no further than the fact that the government has created this problem because they froze hospital budgets, they've cut nursing positions, and in fact, what they've done is overburdened our health care system. Sure. This government refused to take meaningful action, which has not only overcrowded our health care system, but has strained resources, leading to violence in our health care system. And, Madam Speaker, I think we can speak to all the RNs that are here today. Sometime during their job over the last few years, they've experienced an increase in violence at their workplace. My question to the minister, you failed, in fact, at delivering health care to those Ontarians traveling abroad. Now you're failing in providing a safe work environment for our RNs. Will the minister commit to providing a safe working environment for the RNs throughout our province? Give Minister of Health and Long Term Care. Madam Speaker, of course I will. In fact, we have set up a table which is, which is jointly chaired by the Minister of Labour and myself that contains experts, associations, frontline health care workers that is working specifically on this issue to reduce and eradicate violence against all health care workers across the health care system. But, Madam Speaker, I find it extraordinary that the member opposite is talking about nurses at all when, when they were in power, in fact, even just between 1995 and 1998, in three short years, they fired 6,279 nurses, apart from closing 10,000 hospital beds. Since we came in to government in 2003, more than 30,000 more nurses have begun work in this province. That's an increase of 27 percent. In fact, the number of nurses employed in nursing in Ontario has now increased for the 13th year. There are 1,200 more nurses employed in this province Here, compared to just you. last year. I recognize the member for